Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to exploit a Windows XP system with Saint. Um, some of you may be familiar with Saint as a vulnerability assessment tool, but they also have a, uh, a feature <clears throat> built in for penetration testing as well. So in this video, we're going to do a vulnerability assessment on an XP system, find some vulnerabilities, and go ahead and exploit them. So the first thing we want to do, we're going to click on Sessions and start a new session. <clears throat> All right, so we'll type in the Academy just as an example. We'll go ahead and create it by clicking the Create button. And our session is completely set up now, and now we have to actually go in and plug in our IP address. So we'll go up to Scan Setup. We'll scroll down here, and we'll type in the IP that we're going to scan. Again, you can scan, you know, ranges, subnets, and so on by host name if you feel like it, by file. But we're going to go ahead and do 192.168.10.131. Click on Add, and you'll see there it is now a selected target. So we'll scroll down. We'll keep the vulnerability scan the same, um, the scan options the same. <clears throat> we'll change the firewall support to firewall support, so use TCP for discovery. We'll go ahead and scroll down here. and We're not going to put in any credentials in this case. We're just going to scan the system straight out. So we'll go ahead and click on Scan now and you'll see here um, just like all other videos guys we cut out the stuff so you don't have to wait too long for the scan to, to complete <clears throat> and you'll see the nice thing I like about the same vulnerability scanners on the right hand side there you get that little window that comes up that says hey look at your results in the window you can also pause and stop the scan on the side as well here so we'll let this run we'll see what kind of vulnerabilities we come up with Alright, so it's now processing data and we are done. Now let's take a look here what we actually found. So we'll click on <clears throat> continue with report and analysis and we'll go by approximate danger level. This is another feature that's cool about uh, the Saint vulnerability scanner. So it'll actually put the problems in here and show you um, by danger level what critical problems you may have, whether they're you know high, medium, or low, in this case critical, and what you can actually do with them. So it's basically like a point and click type scanner um, with a lot of detail to it as well. So we're going to go ahead and click on root shell, and you'll see here that we have a few critical vulnerabilities. We have a Windows Server Service buffer overrun, and we also have the MSO8067 buffer overflow in the Windows Server Service, which I think uh, the Configter worm is actually killing um, right now all over the internet, I believe. 9 million mark and and uh and rising and supposedly it's going to kill us on april fool's day as well guys so uh watch out for that one so anyway let's go back to the video here we're going to go ahead and you know nice and easy there click on exploit and you'll see that it brings us up to the penetration testing tab of the actual gui here so we'll go ahead and click run now we'll choose our system which is xp sp2 all right, we're going to leave the reverse port the way it is for shell type and go ahead and click on run now. You'll see it doesn't take that long to actually successfully exploit this system. All right, the exploit was now successful, which is awesome. Let's go back, take a look at the data analysis <clears throat> by severity, right? And we got remote administrative access to the system here. Let's click on connections to see what successful connections we've brought up. Now this is an interesting page, right? You'll see, you know, you have buttons for what would you like to do now that we have, you know, admin access to the system. Do you want to launch a command prompt, a file manager, a screen capture, whatever you like. Let's go ahead and click on file manager. All right, so if we click on file manager, you'll see now we get to see all of the actual lovely files on this system, which means you can essentially copy them because you have admin rights. Um, you can delete them you can add your own. Um, you can basically do whatever you want to the system. You see you get the nice little buttons on the bottom too that show you upload, download, rename, delete. We can launch a command prompt and we can issue our own commands at the command prompt. So you know let's do a directory listing for example. And there you go. Command shell on the system there. <coughs> All right, let's close that down. We'll go ahead and you know, open up a screen capture, uploading the code for us there, and you'll see in just a second what we get to see from the system here. There you go, there's a screen capture of the desktop. Very cool stuff. And when you're set and done, you can obviously come in here and click on disconnect as well. You can start and stop tunnels, but we won't do that. 
you click on disconnect and that's it you've basically you know disconnected your session but you know this just goes to show you how easy it is when you have the right tools to basically assess a system quickly and exploit it um, so basically shows the importance of proper patching and so on um, we hope you enjoyed the video guys and uh, we'll see you on the next one thanks